Well, the delegation is composed of uh, members from uh, the SADC PF um, um, uh, parliaments. Uh, they've come here in response to a decision that has been made by the um, African Union Commission that the aborted elections of May last year be now be held in South Africa as the host country. So they've come to strategize on how best they can campaign for uh, the candidate sponsored by the Parliament of Zimbabwe, who is uh, Senator Chief uh, Charumbila. But Chief Charumbila has also uh, been endorsed by the Southern Regional uh, Caucus, which is composed of uh, the SADAC uh, parliaments. So they have decided, in their wisdom, to come together through their representatives and map up the way forward in readiness for the elections that should take place uh, 27th and 28th of June in South Africa as the host country. And also of uh, the campaign strategy, because last time it was uh, violent when you tried to have the elections. Going forward now, uh, what is the campaign strategy to ensure that uh, Chief Charumbira wins? Well, that is up to the delegation that is here. Uh, they will have to come up with the strategy. The security issue that uh, was raised is, I think, is over-exaggerated. There are a few scaffolds here and there. You get these in parliaments. In other parliaments, they pick up chairs and start hitting each other. That does not happen in South Africa. Secondly, uh, there was no security intervention from uh, the host country. The security <coughs> group was outside the venue, uh, waiting there to protect, just in case there is some disorder. But we did not have the scale of the uh, scaffold that uh, would have attracted, you know, the intervention of security uh, um, uh, service people who were stationed outside the assembly during that time. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I was there. It was just one or two scaffolds. And in terms of the rules, the members were involved actually apologized uh, soon after, and the apology was accepted uh, in terms of uh, the Pan-African parliamentary rules. So, when you go to an election, you, you are there to win. You don't go in an election to lose. You, you prepare yourself to win. If you have a negative attitude about the elections and you doubt yourself, why should you stand for elections? You stand for elections because you want to win. And that is our approach.